morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm a minute late. I feel like I've had an incredibly busy day today. <laughs> it's only eight o'clock, so I don't know if that's a good sign that it'll be smooth sailing from here on out or good morning, Michael, or if it's a bad sign, it's going to be a crazy day. Hi, Susie. <clears throat> Hi, Gabby. How are you? How is everyone this morning? Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Gail. So I am excited to paint, um, as always. Um, trying to think, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. So I was just running till the very last second. I almost forgot my brushes were at my sink and I had to go get them. I washed them out this morning. Hi, everybody. Welcome, hi, Rosemary. Hi, Allie. This is fun. Yay. I'm always ready to paint. So I'm lucky I'm doing a painting today with you guys. And then um, with my Inspiring Art Collective group, I'm going to do a shiny bright ornament demo. <clears throat> I have 11, so it's going to be a busy painting day. They're my favorite. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. Um, all right, I have to fix my lighting a little bit. I'm going to paint this old-fashioned bow. Let me move that out. And that's good. I'm going to try and keep it colorful and be a little whimsical with it. That's always my goal. So I had thought of, a, I was working on a blog post this morning. Sometimes I try to work on things on my blog. I, I do my best to get myself writing a little bit. It's something I don't think I do well and I'm not, I'm not confident with. So I keep practicing it. And for the longest time, like, oh, I didn't paper towels either. I'm way behind today. Um, I've been trying to work on my writing skills and doing all that and I didn't have any ideas. Like I usually get my ideas when I first wake up in the morning. They kind of flood in and there were just no ideas. That's when I think about what I want to paint, what I'm going to do for the day. Well today I had tons of ideas. It's like you just have to be patient sometimes and then they come. They don't come until they're ready to come, right? I think that's how it works. <laughs> I'm always talking about being patient. <sighs> I need to be patient, but that's what art always teaches me is patience. So how is everyone today as I'm rambling along here, hoping that I'm not getting myself into something a little too challenging to do in an hour, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Hi, Chris. Hi, Caroline. So I, I don't want to get too rigid with this. I just want to have fun with it, but it is a little scary. I got to tell you, I'm kind of thinking, well, this might be hard to do without um, planning it out. Sometimes when I do things like, um, I do a lot of dog and cat portraits and things, and I will trace them out onto my paper so that I'm comfortable that everything's where I want it to be before I start. Um, I'm always pushing myself not to, to work more this way of just kind of um, diving in like this so that I learn to see better. But there's nothing wrong with um, doing it that way if it, if it helps you build confidence or makes you feel more comfortable that you have things. Sometimes there's different things to learn. That's what I was saying about this morning with art. So many different things to learn. And whatever little things you can do to help yourself feel more confident as you're going through the learning process, all the better right and wrong ways. Okay. So I think I started my coffee at about 4.30 this morning and I'm still not finished with it. That's crazy. But I did fit in a workout already today. And um, I'm ready to paint, I think. <laughs> Good for you for admitting that you start by tracing. Yeah, nothing. Nope, there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever it takes to help you build confidence and, and make you feel comfortable. Because sometimes, like in my painting process, I'll even think about the different things that I'm trying to learn in any given painting. Like I might be concentrating a little more on my edges. I might be thinking about um, <clears throat> values, um, composition. Like there's so many things to think about, and I do... I don't think it, you can't learn it all at one time. And different things are important in different paintings too, I guess, really. Um, 
Good morning. I tried to send you a bird photo on your Facebook page yesterday. Oh, Susan, I don't think I saw it. I'll have to look. You know, Facebook doesn't always tell you things anymore. <laughs> and I don't know. I might have missed it, too. But I will look for it. What kind of bird? You know I love bird photos. So I'm looking, just looking at my shapes right now. I have to clean my brush off. <clears throat> have a sip of my coffee since I haven't had enough yet today. So what's new with everybody? Is that you, Michelle? Did you? Oh, that was Susan. I'm always getting all these little messages flying by. I've been um, accidentally buying a lot of art supplies lately. I keep finding new things I want to do and things I want to play with, which is good, but... <laughs> All the packages will start coming and they won't be anyone's Christmas gifts. They'll be Merry Christmas to me of fun art supplies. Looking forward to my bird. Oh, good, Chris. Good morning, Danica. How are you? Are you working from home today? Yes, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I did. It was really nice. I had all my kids home. I should be packing. Where are you going, Gay? Hi, Bill. bigger boat. I need a bigger boat. Yes. Where's this? It's right here. I want a little brown in there. So when I'm doing a painting like this, that's more of a tight thing, Accidentally, we had, Gail said, I love that accidentally buying art supplies. Yeah, it happens to me a lot. I'm sure it happens to you guys too. It's like, that's the rabbit hole. I'm like, ooh. And then, and then I want to do all the things. Got through on your website today. Worked perfectly. Oh, good. I think it was, I did, I wrote, I have a virtual assistant who helps me when I'm doing my launches and stuff. And I asked her about it and she said it's still live in there. So if anybody still wants to join my inspiring art group, the just um, send me a note. I can still um, let you come into the group. But um, yeah, I'm talking about too many things and not thinking about my painting here, aren't I? Oh, so I was saying, I think when I'm painting sometimes things like this that are tighter subjects, it's harder to be loose with them. Okay, he's going to Disney World with my son's family before they move to New Zealand. Wow. Well, Disney World. Yeah, in, in Florida. Oh, that's fun. And then will you get to go to New Zealand? That sounds amazing. I haven't been to Disney in a long time. I want to keep this colorful. Maybe I'll even add some pinks in. So, oh, so I was saying I like to try to, um, when things are super more of a tight subject, it's harder to keep it loose. So I want to add some other color in here and let it be a little more spontaneous and let those crazy colors show through like I'm always trying to do. Yellow. Yes, it's a silver bow. I bought a bag of them a couple years ago because I wanted to paint them, and now I don't know where to put them. They're not, they don't seem to be in my wrapping area. But, um, yeah, I want my silver bow to look silver but be anything but silver. How about that as a fun goal? <clears throat> Other fun colors could I add in here? I think I'm going to do my manganese blue hue. That's the other thing. I'm running out of a lot of my oil paint colors, too, so I've got to stock up. Can't run out of oil paint colors. That is never a good thing. It is a challenge. Um, in my background, I think I'm going to add a little shadow. A 
And then I kind of like the purple. Maybe I'll do a purplish blue background. Or should I go green to make it super holiday looking? Or red. Good morning, Donna. I'm going to work on your dog portraits hopefully today. Cute dogs. Are they uh, Suzette's dogs? I'll let my background be very colorful too. This is a messy middle. It's a messy beginning, isn't it? Love it. Sometimes I love to go this messy in the beginning and then figure out how to carve out what I want it to be in the end. That adds a fun layer of challenge to it. <clears throat> okay, I like that. I'm going to clean up my palette here and get out my pigment sticks. Not bad for 13 minutes. Hi, Diane. All right, pigment sticks here. Hi, Joe Margaret, how are you? I've been watching a lot of Joe Margaret, has some fun videos on her um, feed. I don't know, I'm adding, you know, the gold in here, but it's a silver bow, but I think that's still good because it's a reflection of something it was near when I was photographing it, obviously. I did it so long ago, I can't even remember. We just got our tree yesterday. And um, now I have to start decorating. So I'll have, like, I feel like sometimes I don't have any reference. Like now that it's the holidays and I'm thinking I want to paint holiday things, I don't even have any. They're all tucked away, but they'll all be out soon. So I do a little of my green from Michigan. Busy, busy watching, forget to sign in. Ooh, that's fun. I'll do my light color and then mix some colors up. That's getting messy. I need to just stop right there. Now I need blacks and grays and I don't know what else. So just mix up some fun colors. Putting my medium away and I'll scooch you so you can see what I'm mixing here. My palette's a little bit dirty. That's just from what I was working on earlier. I'll sip on my coffee. What's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? And I'm having my fat cow coffee. I do have some black out. I think I'm gonna start with a little black and a really dark odd purple in. Just add that together so it's a nice really dark. Add some brown in it too. Worm dark. <clears throat> Sometimes, you, like, you can use black and add other colors to it. And black makes it go a little cooler and bluer. Um, 
gosh, I think I want to try, I'm going to add a little bit of this titanium buff in. I had this out yesterday. I was painting a bird and I was using the titanium buff and this, um, I love this old Holland violet gray color. Put that out here. And it makes this beautiful, like cool gray. If you mix those two colors together, I made one of my little color chips of it because I was just loving that I'm like kind of embracing neutral colors lately. And the bird that I did yesterday had a really nice neutral background. Let's see how that looks. I think that is a little too warm. I'm gonna add do I want to add blue? What do I want to add in that to make it? Do I want to make it cooler? This is hard. The, the black, I can't think of whether it's cool. I'm going to add this into it. It is. Where is that color? I might need some more of that. Um, I think it might have been this phthalo blue. I don't use phthalo blue normally on my palette, but... Um, Every now and then I need that. It's just such a different shade of blue. Yeah, that's better. I like that more. I'll do this. That's pretty. I need more of my moved away some of my colors because I have now to go order some. My, my shopping problem that I'm having. Yes, it's a piece of, of marble, Yvonne. I got it at like, um, you know, where you buy countertops. I just asked them if I could buy a sample, like a countertop sample. I love it. We have those like bright colors in there. There's some of this blue and there's like orangish color I need to make. That's all the brighter that it needs to be. She says, good Penny. Morgan says, good morning, my fellow artists and art lovers. Oh, I know. Isn't this the best? Who gets to start the day having this much fun? too bright. I'm going to add a little bit of brown into that. Dull it down. See if it still looks orange. Maybe not. Maybe I put too much in. Mm, no, no. I think it needs to go green. These are weird colors that are in this bow. Not my normal palette of colors. Totally way too yellow. I need that. Well, that is totally not what I want. I'll leave it there because it could come in handy. It's not unfun, right? It goes really nicely. These two colors pair very nicely together. But the, so what I'm trying to do, the color that's in, in here, see how it's sort of, I thought it was yellow at first, but I think it's more green. So let me see. I found the ball off of where I am here. So I'm gonna try this color. And I should have more of that yellow. Make more of my cadmium lemon. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's totally much better. I was going down a rabbit hole of the wrong direction there. Viridian green and cad yellow, that would work too. That's a good idea. Well, let's 
see how we do with this. I think that's a good start. They're really dark darks. I probably need a little more white out here in my palette. I may need to add some white. Looks more toward a yellow olive. Yeah. We'll see how it looks. Sometimes when you put it down then next to other colors, it, it can look completely different. So we'll see how we do. Plus it picks up things that are underneath there. That's a hard thing to like um, think about. You know, like if I put a color down and there's color underneath, the when that shows through a little bit, like how they come together and work together, I'm not very good at um, anticipating. I guess that's the word I'm looking for, where that will go. But I love that it is random like that. Put some of my coffee. for sure. Okay. Oh, um, Penny, it's a, it's a piece of, um, Arches oil paper. I've been really liking painting on oil paper lately. It kind of gives a texture of like watercolors a little bit, and I love that. I just go through phases of painting on different things. Like I'll get kind of, I would say I get itchy. Like I start thinking about, oh, I need to change something up and who knows what it'll be, but, but then I'll do something for a while and then change my mind again. But right now I love the Arches oil paper. <clears throat> This is sure to have a really messy middle. So you're welcome. There's a second one behind here. Yep, hardest in us exploring, yes. It's a fun ride, isn't it? And I think sometimes the hardest part of doing art is deciding which things to explore because there's so many ideas and so many things to want to do. It's hard to focus in on something and then stick with it. I find that to be one of the hardest parts of creating art because it's like every every new thing. I'm like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I mean, all the way to like knitting. I love knitting. I love, um, I don't know. I love doing all the things. And as a kid, I did do all of that. I do kind of miss it. Yeah, so many fun things to explore. That's a little dominant. <clears throat> I'm just thinking a little bit here. I'm not sure where I'm headed. So many shapes coming together. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Adjust my seat here a little bit.
So where's everyone from? <clears throat> I was saying, <clears throat> we, I live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we went out and got our tree yesterday. And we usually like go to a million different places and look at all these trees and trying to figure out which is the right one. But it was nice yesterday. We went to one place right out the road, picked the tree, brought it home, and had it up and ready to go in no time. It was really quite, quite nice. And the cats were so happy when we brought it in the house. I swear they remember it from the year before, and they're like, yay, it's back. <clears throat> okay, do I want to make my background any lighter? From Michigan, Houston, Texas, Seattle, Memphis. That is fun. It was weird though. This though this was our first year that we didn't have any kids at home going with us to get a tree. I talked to Isabel last night and she's like, Oh, you went without me. But she won't be home till Christmas, so can't wait that long. I guess we could have gotten it over Thanksgiving, but. I'm a little indecisive here. <clears throat> So that is, that has a little bit of a transition color in here. And over here. <clears throat> yeah this is this is a whole yeah it's very um have to, I'm sorry I have to feel like I'm thinking a lot today it's a lot of um kind of problem solving of of where colors are and where parts of it meet other parts if you know what I mean if that makes any sense there's a little bit of that color that we wanted Had to leave for a few. This is looking great already. Love all the colors. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can achieve that of having it look like a silver bow, but not using anything really very silver in it. Oh, Bethlehem is so pretty. Is that, Anita, did you say you went, we're going to Bethlehem for a few days. Chris Kindle Market Hotel. But, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Alex, my son went to uh, Lehigh. So I've stayed at that hotel, Bethlehem, many times. It really is a cute little town. Great restaurants. That will be fun. Very nice. I like how the background's very loose like this. I'm hoping it stays that way.
Isn't that fun how it just picks up those colors in the background ever so slightly? <clears throat> yeah, I like how that looks. All right, <clears throat> I had to leave for a few. Oh, okay, I read that. So fun. We went to Bethlehem once as a family for all those same things. It is very pretty there. Very fun. I, would, I don't think we were ever there at Christmas time, though, because I guess Alex would come home for break. We were usually there because he was on the crew team at Lehigh, and we would go up. They would always have a, a regatta against um, uh, that their like school that they uh, was the Lehigh. Gosh, I can't even remember what the school's called. The one in New Jersey over the bridge, and um, we would always stay there for that. And I guess we went for like graduation and stuff too. He really loved Lehigh. It was a great school. Met his wonderful girlfriend there, who I think at least she was watching earlier. Danica plays the ukulele. Um, for the past four years, except last year, it's beautiful. I've been having such trouble with backgrounds, making them loose and not over fussy, really struggling with that. It is, it is hard to, yeah, it, I agree. It is challenging to do that. Keep them loose, not overwork them and let them be spontaneous. Well, I know if it get much, much more rigid than I want them to. Yeah, it's, it's always a fine line between like overworking something or fussing with it too much and and getting it to look the way you want it to. Like, it can be a little challenging sometimes. I want this to have a hard edge right here. So you want to give <coughs> enough information to tell the story of what it is, but not that you don't, you want it to not have all the information because your mind, your brain will fill in anything that's missing anyway if you do a good job of it. Deciding on the color, yep, that is hard too. Sometimes people will do a painting and then change the background color. That's, you could always try that. I'm softening the edge of my shadow. My shadow was looking too serious or something, too dominant. I think it, it's drawing my eye too much. This one should be much lighter. I agree you need a background, but you don't want to take away. Yes, you want your, your attention to stay with what your subject is. <clears throat> Getting there, I think. 8.36. We're doing okay on time. I need more paper towels. Oops. <clears throat> Just put them behind me so I have them. And I want to wait and kind of do my lightest lights at the end. I find that keeps my painting cleaner. Oh, good, Anita, you think it looks like silver? And that's so much a thing of painting what you see, not what you think you see. It's so hard to even think about that, isn't it? I think it's hard to think now. Is that really what that looks like, or do I just, is that just my perception that it looks those colors are in there. Um, all right, I have to step back here and think a minute. Hi, Judy. A 
little, maybe a little pink. are kind of just dancing around here <clears throat> thinking about what I see what I'm missing what would add to it this is a little bit of a round thing there these kind of bows are always so perfectly imperfect. And like, you know, when I was a kid, I'm sure with you guys too, like we would have these bows and we would just get them out every year and use them again. Like, I don't think that our next generation does that with things. They just throw it away and get new. But we would just have these same bows and they'd be all like smooshed and unhappy looking and we'd just put them on the next gift. But that was good to not waste, right? Actually, I don't even usually put bows on gifts unless, you know, I wrap so many, like, for my kids and everything that I just do um, little labels. I would always, um, when my kids were little, we always said that um, Santa only brought, like, like, one or two gifts, and they were the ones that weren't wrapped. And the rest of the gifts were from, from mom and dad. So that would was good so like they found something in the house like hidden away that it wouldn't ruin the idea of Santa but also that you know we can buy the gifts Santa is really the whole concept of for children who whose parents can't buy them gifts but I just like that idea so then I would wrap you know all of Emily's gifts in the same wrapping paper Alex's gifts in the same wrapping paper so I liked doing it that way. All right, now I can go like a little shade lighter here. Add some of these little bit more lighter light areas. Um, we use our dust over craft paper, decorate with colored markers, and yes, a bowl. Yeah, I always want to make my own wrapping paper, too. That's something I was thinking about this morning. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking, oh, next year I would love to make my own wrapping paper. I would love to um, make stickers, um, the to and from stickers. I can soon go to my lighter lights. <clears throat> my first job was working for a ribbon and bow man. Oh my gosh, I bet, Joanne, that sounds like so much fun. That's something else I never do. We used to have a store in Columbia, which is near my house, and they always had great ribbon. But I don't even think it's there anymore, and you always have to buy it all online. But I love to go in a store and see all that ribbon hanging. I have to pick which is your favorite. Wouldn't that be fun to go do that? I do have a big box of ribbon. A lot of times, like when I wrap up <coughs> paintings that I sell, I'll... Um, a ribbon on it so I do have a nice collection one of my favorite volunteer jobs was wrapping booths at the mall yes I've done that too I love wrapping gifts I think that's the artist in all of us Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> now, I don't want to get too fussy with this. I'm, I already see myself doing it. Like I'm thinking too much about the details. I should just be a little more intuitive here. Add in what I see. But not overwork it. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. I'd love to have a special wrapping room. Oh, yes, and have the wall with the ribbons all hanging in, like, on those spools so you can just pull them off. Yes, I would love that, too. Hello, well, my first job was wrapping gifts at a local department store. That'd be just fun to go do that. I miss department stores. That always gives such a great holiday feel. And we went to King of Prussia like last weekend, which is a wonderful mall near me. And I didn't get that same holiday feeling. Like I know Christmas shouldn't be about going shopping, but walking into a department store and smelling all the smells and the music and all the displays is always so wonderful. Um, I feel like that's something that's missing. Appreciate especially for the men. Oh, the gift wrapping, you mean? Yes. <clears throat> All right, I have some little bits of my background showing through. So I got to work on that. I don't want that. The whites. That should go darker right here. All right, it is getting there. Oops, I got a little hard edged right here, and I'll that. And I don't want to overwork it, so. <clears throat> right here I'm sorry I'm holding my breath I always kind of do at this point in the painting when I'm trying to pay attention to all the details all right what am I missing I'm missing a paper towel I'm uh, missing, all right, I need this to go away. I need a little bit of a light, light color over here. I find the truck to the sparkle is sp the trick to the sparkle is spotting the darks next. Yes, I agree, Judy. Yeah, those places where it's the hardest, like the brightest color and the darkest color and the hardest edge. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Is where all the the magic of the sparkle is. You're right. Oops. 
What art supplies did you get on Black Friday? <laughs> well, Penny, I'm not a good bargain shopper. I don't know that I got any deals. I'm trying to think what, what I even did go to buy, but... I'm not good at paying attention to that. I did get Lululemon leggings on sale. No, I don't. I don't think they were on sale. I always go into the place where the sale is and buy something else. I'm that shopper that every merchandiser loves. So I'll go in there and be like, no, that's not really what I want. But I like this thing that's not on sale even more. Push this back. Right here. Huh. Okay, what else do I need? Do you see anything I'm missing? I can get a little bit more black. <clears throat> it is awfully fun, isn't it? Now I want to wrap some presents and paint them. You ever see Karen Appleton's work? She does a lot of gifts with bows and they're just gorgeous. It totally makes me want to do that. I have a little bit smaller brush. I'm just going in a little bit more detail and then I think I'm going to stop because then I'll be, that way your closet's not filled with stuff you don't wear. What did I miss something? Yeah, that's true. Oh, not buying the things on sale. Yes, you're right. I try to only buy things that I absolutely love. And if I think that I'm not going to love it for like the next 10 years, then I don't even get it. I get very attached to things. Like I don't, I don't, I wear the same things over and over again. Once I find something I love, I'm totally loyal. <clears throat> mushy there. See, now I think I'm overworking. I think I might need to stop. So let me look at this one more time to see if I'm... missing anything. <clears throat> um... I like that transparency. It's a little too... There are a couple little bits of transparent areas showing through, but I love that. I love that texture and some of the shadow. Um, Maybe I just need... Yeah, there's always just something else, little thing to do, but I think I need to stop. Oh, I'm going to go too far past... Anybody see anything else? Oh, I'm not looking at what everyone's saying. Does anyone use a transparent purple that's more lavender or transparent blue that is a medium hue? Hmm, Joanna? No. I would say when I want to go to more of a color like that, I would mix my lavender and my ultramarine blue together and, and just make it thinner. I'm not a shopper either. Rarely do holiday sales, but couldn't pass up canvas deal. Oh, Penny, that's fun. I need big canvases. And Michael said, you would have been so intimidated by this and you tackled it. <laughs> Can you show? Yes, I will do that. I will um, load this up on my site and add the reference image for it. I should go find that bag of bows and photograph some of the other colors. Oh, it, uh, Judy, it was Karen Appleton. Okay, I'm all caught up. So, I think I'm going to sign it. I don't think that doing anything else to it's going to help it. I did, there is some white in there. I did use a little bit of white. My signature. So, a couple of these areas are white. What nice, cool white. So many shapes. Yes, let me pull the edges off so we see the... What time is it? 52. We're good on time. All right. Let me see. 
can see in there. So I like the spontaneity. I like those colors showing through. It still looks like a silver bow, even though it's a lot of colors. So there's my reference, my painting, and my bit of a messy palette. Thanks, Gail. Let me turn this. Where's my little thing to turn around? So thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning. It was fun as always. Love hanging out with you guys. And um, yes, I will load this up. I'll put it on on my uh, my website under my blog. I have to write the blog that I wrote this morning. I'll work on that too. And then I'll also put it on my YouTube channel. So you're, if you go watch it on YouTube, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. So I need to work on that some more. Thank you, Ellen. You're welcome, Lisa. So it was fun hanging out with you guys, and we'll do it again next week. See you soon. Thank you. You're welcome.